know that neon lights, a blow dryer, and your headphones are all powered by an electric current? Electric currents are created when an electric charge flows through a conductor such as a wire. The electric charge can come from a battery, a generator, and even from nature itself. Electricity flows from a positive terminal to a negative terminal, and it can only flow if the conductor is touching both terminals. We call this a complete or a closed circuit because the electric current can flow through a complete path. When you add a light, a speaker, or a heating element to a closed circuit, it will power it. The energy is able to circulate through it again and again in a cycle, keeping the device or the gadget on. But what happens if you want to turn the device off? It's actually quite simple. You need to stop the flow of energy. You can stop the flow of energy by interrupting or cutting its path. We call this opening the circuit because the path is no longer closed. When you open a circuit, you stop the flow of electricity because the conductors are no longer touching each other. You can open a circuit by removing or cutting the wires, adding an insulator between conductors, or using a switch. Think about the light bulb in your room. Whenever you want to turn it on, you flick the light switch. Whenever you want to turn it off, you flick it in the opposite direction. The switch allows for you to open the circuit or to close it. When it is closed, electricity flows. When it is open, electricity stops. A great way to remember this is by remembering that closed rhymes with blows. Closed, blows. And open starts with op, which rhymes with stop. Op stops. Think about it like a drawbridge. Whenever the bridge is pulled up, it is an open circuit because the traffic can't flow and has to stop. But when the bridge comes down and makes contact with the other side of the road, it closes the circuit and creates a complete path for traffic to flow through. Let's try this. Take a look all around you. Can you identify at least three closed circuits? What about one open circuit? There are two main types of circuits, series circuits and parallel circuits. Series circuits have a single path for energy to flow, and when the circuit is open, the electric current stops completely. Parallel circuits have multiple paths for electricity to flow, so even if part of the circuit is open, the electric current keeps flowing through another part. This allows for you to turn off certain parts of a device while keeping other parts on. For example, if you had a light, a fan, and a buzzer on a parallel circuit, you could turn them all on, turn them on one at a time, or turn them on two at a time, or any combination that you like. Sometimes, an electric current might become too powerful and damage a device or element in the circuit. A fuse can be placed in the circuit to make sure that the current stops if it gets too strong. When a fuse receives too much power, it will burn out and open the circuit so that the electric current cannot flow through. This can protect all of the devices and elements on this circuit. Let's review what we have learned. Electric current is created when a charge flows through a conductor from a positive to a negative terminal. A closed circuit is a complete path for electric energy to flow through the circuit rate. A light, speaker, heating element, and other devices can be powered by an electric current that is circulating. You can stop the flow of electricity by opening the circuit with the switch 
insulator or removing the conductor. An easy way to remember open and closed circuits is using the rhyme close, close, and off stops. The two types of circuits are series and parallel. Series circuits have a single path for electricity to flow. Parallel circuits have multiple paths for electricity to flow through. Fuses can protect a circuit by stopping the flow of the energy if it gets too powerful. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.